it looks to me like the Megan bot is getting stronger and stronger. So I don't know what this means for mittens. I, I, I don't. What's up, guys? So there's something funny going on with the chess.com bots. So let me try to explain what I have noticed, and we'll see if we can figure this out together. So first thing I'm going to do is actually, sorry, not that one. I'm going to move my face over here so it's out of the way for a second. Um, if you remember, recently, chess.com, if you saw my video on this, or maybe you, you haven't, uh, but chess.com had added a bunch of cat bots. And there was, I think, five total starting with some low rated ones, which are not appearing anymore. There was like an 800 one, a 1000. Then we had Mr. Grumpers at 1200, Cats Brav at 1400, and the infamous Mittens, rated one, but it's actually like Stockfish level 3000 or something. It's really strong. And uh, there's lots of videos going around YouTube with Mittens right now. Okay, so I noticed like a couple days ago that the very first cat had been replaced with this M3GAN. Megan bot and I was like what is this a mistake like was that supposed to be there it was rated like 850 at the time and now it's rated 1050 and the next cat bot is gone so something is going on here it says Megan heard scaredy cat and angry cat were your opponents so she took care of them so those two cats are gone this the scaredy cat and the angry cat so it looks to me like the Megan bot is getting stronger and stronger. So I don't know what this means for mittens. I, I I don't. But I figure I should go ahead and play Megan now while I still can beat her before she like becomes a 5,000 rated bot or something. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to play Megan and get the three stars. And then we're going to just kind of keep an eye on the situation and see what happens going forward. I'm, I'm expecting, you know, some sort of... I don't know. I don't know. But... Anyway, let's go ahead and choose Megan, and we will play against Megan. So here we go. Let me move my face back over here. And here we go. So we're going to play E4. I'm all odds and ends right now. Really, you rather I'd rather you not see me like this. Okay. I don't know what's happening. We're just going to keep playing the game. All right. Let's go for the, the Bishop B5 check lines. Okay, knight to d7, d4 is pretty standard here. And we take it with the queen because the knight cannot attack our queen on c6. So it's a nice centralized location for the queen. Let's just develop. All right, we'll trade this guy off. No problems there. Bishop b g5, h6. Okay, so I could give up the bishop or I could just kind of wait and maybe do this. I'll just, ho I'll just hold off for the moment. We'll just drop back. Queen to a5, okay. I think now is a good time to castle. The question is which way? This is definitely more aggressive, but it does get the rook on the defile right away. I do like that. This is probably the safer option. I'll be aggressive. We'll play castle's queen side here. Okay, rook to g8. So the thing about that move is black's king is either going to have to go this way or it's going to be stuck in the center. This way looks pretty open. I mean, there's a lot of missing pawns here. So there's some definitely some weaknesses if the king castles there. So I'm anticipating it stays in the center. So a move like e5 makes a lot of sense. Just going ahead and putting some pressure on the king. So let's play e5. Okay, so there's, there's the blunder. We can take the knight. Or we can take here and bring this rook over and line up this way. Uh, both are probably really good but which one is better? I mean, it's hard to argue with taking a, a piece, so I guess I'll just take the piece. Although this was also a very strong move, all right? And I'm gonna bring this rook over. The point is I, I wanna put pressure on the king. It pins the pawn so that it's no longer defending these guys, so they become targets for me. And it's just a nice square for the rook to sit on, controls all these central squares. All right, so she's gonna go for that. I'm not really worried about that. I think we have a lot more uh, important things here. So the question is, which pawn do I want to take? Both of these are no longer defended, like I mentioned, because of the pin on the king. So this one looks pretty good. Potentially just lining up there. I think I'll just go for that one. Okay, and she does castle. Uh, this is a free pawn. If I want it, I could bring in the knight and come over here. Also looks very good. 
Uh, let's see. Where's the queen going to go if I go there? Maybe up here. All right, we'll just take the pawn. Both moves look pretty good, but I think this is fine. Okay, we trade that. We still have this threat. Okay, so she goes queen c6. I think now might be the time to play knight to d5. What other moves do I have, actually? Let's see. Maybe queen to d5, threatening or just take the pawn, actually. I forgot about that. I could just take this. Am I worried about my knight is the question? You could take here. Ah, there would be check. No, that's not checkmate. What am I saying? Uh, so takes, takes, takes. Should be okay. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this one. We might get a queen trade here. That's fine. And that's another big mistake. So we'll take that. Black is in trouble now. Okay. So we're going to take here. Let's go ahead and see. I think we can just bring the knight in for checkmate. Like this is probably the easiest thing to do. Oh. Okay, and there we go. All right, so right now, this Megan bot is uh, 1,050. But like I said, from what I've seen, uh, who knows how long that's going to last. So if you haven't beat this bot and you want to get the three stars, I'm going to say now's the time to do it because yeah i mean i don't know i wouldn't be surprised if this thing's like rated 3500 in a couple of days or weeks or whatever let me know your thoughts or if you know something that's going on uh that i don't know about uh but i'll see you guys next time as always stay sharp play smart take care